Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. In this week's video, we're discussing some of the additional controls available to you in the Unstructured Solver, specifically the pyramid settings. Pyramids are the usual cell type formed between a quadrilateral domain and the tetrahedral block that the domain is part of. Let's take a look at an example. At first glance, this looks like a structured block, but I've actually created and initialized this unstructured block from six existing structured domains. This will ensure layers of pyramids around the outside of the block. Let's take a cross-sectional view to show you what I mean. Since my block is already selected, I'm going to go to the Examine menu, select Max Included Angle. I'm only interested in showing the pyramids in this example, so I will uncheck All and then check the Pyramids box. Select the Cuts tab, check the box that says Enable Cutting, and we can zoom in and we get a pretty good view of a slice through this unstructured block. Now we're only showing the pyramids. I'm going to turn on the histogram and show that. Note that most of the pyramids have a max included angle of about 120 degrees, with some of the corner pyramids having higher values of 133 degrees. Those pyramids are squished a little bit to prevent collisions and to allow tetrahedrals to fit in the spaces between the pyramids. Now let's take a look at how you can control the shape of those pyramids. Go ahead and push close. With it still selected, go to the grid menu and choose Solve. Click on the Attributes tab. There's a checkbox that says Pyramid. Go ahead and check that. Now you can see the three controls that you have over the pyramid shape. The first is minimum height, the second is maximum height. Currently, those values are being driven by the third control, which is aspect ratio. And that's how you get the max included angle of 120 degrees that we saw in the previous examined view. Let's go ahead and change that to 0 0.1. Click on the Solve tab and let's reinitialize. This time we can enter the examine through the Solve tab. Click on Examine. With an aspect ratio of 0.1, the resulting pyramids are much flatter, so we should expect to see a larger max included angle, and we do. Most of them fall into the range of 164 degrees. Let's go to the Cuts tab, Enable Cutting, and we can take a visual of this. If we zoom in, you can see that the pyramids are indeed much flatter. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.